Hello Morris class, it's Miss Bake here and welcome to your Wednesday English lesson. Today is the 3rd of February 2021. Our learning objective is the same as yesterday, which is can I write instructions how to wash your hair in space. So what I would like you to do is first, before this video begins, please go and watch the text map, uh, text map, sorry, uh, Mrs. Gabella going through the text map, how to brush your teeth in space. And then what I would like you to do is, I would like you to go and watch the video, which is in the playlist of how to wash your hair in space of the lovely astronaut. Okay, once you have come back and you have done both of those things, you will need the piece of paper that you were using yesterday to write your instructions. So if you can please go and grab that now, that would be absolutely fantabulous. And once you're back and ready, we will begin today's lesson. Okie dokie. In yesterday's lesson, we wrote the first two steps. So steps to be taken, we did first, and then we did then. In today's lesson, we are going to be writing the last two steps. So we're going to put next, put the toothpaste, blah, blah, blah. Not toothpaste, but we're going to do shampoo because we're doing how to wash your hair in space. And then we're going to do the finally, the last step, okay? So, Please remember that we need to, oh, hang on, I've got my time starters here. We need to use our time starters. So yesterday we used first and then today we are using next and finally. Okay, now I am going to model how to write the sentences. You can write them side by side with me. And I'm also going to show you how to use adverbs to describe the verbs in our writing. Now you can magpie, you can magpie the verbs and um, the adverbs that I'm using, or you can think of your own. But please do remember that because of the environment where the hair is being washed, you can only describe it in such a way. Um, so you can't use vigorously, viciously, ferociously, um, because that doesn't work in space. So please be mindful. Okay, so before we start our writing, I'm just going to show Challenge One Children what their task is because they're doing something slightly different. So if you usually complete Challenge One, then your task for today's lesson is, let me just make myself, let's move me up here so you can see. Okay, your first sentence is, next, get a, now, is it to a towel or is it a cone? You need to choose the correct word to fill in the missing blank, and then you need to put the correct punctuation, which is a capital letter, a finger space, and a full stop. Then you are going to do the exact same for your last sentence, which is finally get a, is it comb, or is it towel? Complete the missing word with the correct punctuation. Okay, now, if you are a bit confused and you're not sure, there is a picture here on the left-hand side, which gives you a prompt or tells you, um, it's a visual cue of what word should be put in the missing blank. Okie dokie, now let's move on to our writing. So I'm going to do new share, then I'm going to do advanced, then I'm going to do da -da -da, and then, yay, it's working. Now, hopefully, ooh, Oh no, is it twitching again? I really, I don't know what the problem is, Morris class. I don't know why it's sort of twitching. Right, ready. Okay, so our next sentence is, I'm going to use my time starter. So I've used first, I've used then. I'm now going to use my time starter. Is it finally or next? Which one for my third step? Well done, I'm going to use my time starter next that's my third one so i'm going to start at the top i'm going to move this a bit this way and i'm going to start at the top to make sure my page is nice and neat and clean i'm going to do it just like this right next capital n next take your comb take your Comb. Comb has a silent b on the end. Take your comb and 
Now, I want to say and comb all of your tangles up. How, what describing word, what adverb could I use to describe the verb comb or comb out? Well done. I'm going to use the word softly and softly. Comb. Oh, I have to go this way. Out. What are we combing out? All of your? Well done. Softly comb out all of your tangles. Fantastic. That's a nice and simple step to be taken. Full stop on the end. <clears throat> Sorry, excuse me. I'm now going to move on to my final step and I'm going to use my time starter. Finally, I'm going to use my time starter. Finally. So next line. Remember, you can write this side by side with me, just changing your adverb. OK, so instead of softly, you can write something else. Right. Let's move on to the next, the final step. Finally. So I'm going to leave a line. Finally. Finally, take, take the, what do you need to do right at the end? Take the, well done. What was astronaut doing? She took the towel, fantastic. Take the towel and, and what do you do with the towel? What do you do with it? Well done, fantastic, you dry your hair. Finally, take the towel and dry, just making sure I've got finger space, yes. And dry your hair. Now, I want to describe how to dry your hair. So which adverb can I use for the action drying your hair? I'm going to use dry your hair. So in the video, the astronaut said that you need to make sure that all of your hair is dry. And it's dried all the way through, otherwise the water droplets that are still stuck. Um, if your hair is still a little bit wet, the water droplets will float in the air. So I'm going to say dry your hair thoroughly. Now, what's the spelling for thoroughly? R. Thoroughly. Oh, did a T there very well. Thoroughly. Full stop. Let's read our sentences together. Okay. Next, take your comb and softly comb out all of your tangles. Finally, take the towel and dry your hair thoroughly. So my two adverbs that I have used are softly for my third sentence and thoroughly for my fourth sentence. Now, as you are writing the sentences with me, please feel free to change the adverbs that I have used and um, to make it sort of your own personal writing. OK, if you're really struggling, then you can just magpie the ideas from me. OK, OK, Morris class, this is all that we are doing for our English lesson. Let me stop sharing. So there we go. So this is all that we are doing for our English lesson for today. OK, in our next lesson, we will do the next part of our instructions. Um, remember, you do not need to upload your work onto Tapestry and we are going to do it all together. So if I show you mine, what I've got so far. I did have to move on to the next page. So I've got my title at the top. I've left seven lines. Then I've got what you need. I've got my equipment list. Then I've got the steps to be taken. I've got one, one, two. And on this side, oops, I've got three and four. OK, now in tomorrow's lesson, we will do, be doing the next part. So remember, you don't upload and tap. We'll do it all at once. I hope you have enjoyed this lesson, Mara's class, and I will see you soon. Take care. Bye bye.